So I've been making videos for about four months now um, on my Power BI builds. And whenever I do something that I think is really pretty, but it uses a bookmark, a lot of people complain. Uh, people seem to just genuinely hate bookmarks. So here is a toggle switch that can go ahead and it can change the data in the graph without any kind of bookmark. So I just switched to show current year and prior year, and it's currently showing it. If I switch current year off, it just shows prior year. And then if I switch it all off, it shows nothing. And then if I switch it to current year, it shows uh, just the current year. So this uses no bookmarks whatsoever in this report. First, we're going to cover kind of the visual mechanisms that's making the toggles work. And then we're going to cover the DAX that's making the report work. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in and see how the toggles work. First, we need to get some data into the file. So I'm going to go in here, transform data, and then I'm going to go enter data. And I'm going to create a column that will serve as the basis for our uh, toggles. Uh, we want, we're going to want a row for every single toggle switch that we create. So right now I'm just going to put in some placeholder text of A, B, and C, and then hit uh, close and apply and load the data into the data model. Once the data is in the data model, I'm going to add one of the new button slicers, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select that into the field. Uh, then I'm going to go into the into the settings and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start to customize some things. So the goal here is going to be to set an image and then the image is going to be the toggle switch. So I'm going to go into one of my icon uh, dashboards that I've made. And if you haven't seen a video on those, uh, they're going to be, you know, you can find them on my channel. You can also find these icons on my GitHub. Um, if you go, I believe, into the Power BI icons project, um, and then you'll see I have icons from both Material UI and Fluent UI. In this case, I'm going to choose Material UI, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to download that dashboard off of my GitHub. I'm then going to go ahead and I'm going to open up that, that uh, Power BI file, and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to look for a toggle switch icon. I'm going to want one that's both toggled on and toggled off. These icon files just continue to be like a great resource for me as I work through these projects. Uh, if you haven't checked out that video, uh, I'll link it down in the video description. It's a great video. All right, now I need the image URL. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to know what the images are called. So I know they're called toggle. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select the toggles that I want. And here are the two image URLs that I can copy out. Uh, I'm going to create a new measure. I'm going to call that measure uh, toggle on, and then I'm going to create a second measure for the toggle off. In this case, you notice I might have pasted the two rows of data because I copied them out of model view. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try to fix that uh, just by opening up a tool like Notepad++ and uh, then pasting in the links one by one. So here we go. Here we have the image URLs. So I'm going to first copy the first one up here. And I'm going to call that toggle on. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to copy the second one, hopefully. So, yep, here I am. And nice. All right. So we now have our toggle on icon. So we can now go into uh, first and set it to an image URL. And then we can go ahead and we can drag this in. And now what you'll see is we now have toggles appearing for our card. Uh, icons, which is kind of a great first step. All right, now we need to create a second measure. So for our toggle off, so this will be what happens when we uh, click on and then click off, it'll be moving that visual. So I'm going to create that second visual right here and paste in the image URL. And then on my selected, it's going to be my toggle off. And then my default is going to be my toggle on. So that way, when I click these, you can see they're switching, which is what we want. Um, one thing you might notice is that we might need to adjust some additional formatting settings, right? So let's go ahead and let's see if we can do that. So I'm going to first uh, turn off the values. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn off the uh, background film. Um, and also I'm going to try to fix some spacing. Um, if you notice, I uh, have, have I think I think I have them in the wrong 
uh, shape around. So, yep, there's background fill off. Nice. These are looking pretty good, so they can switch. And then um, I'm going to turn off single select so I can have multiple turned on. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to drop the columns down to one so that way they stack really nicely. So through the power of movie editing, I have tweaked some settings and I am now ready to go ahead and create something a little bit more useful. Uh, my first idea was I'm just going to use it to switch on and off months, but then I kind of gave that a second thought and I was like, okay, these are going to represent current year and prior year. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click OK. And then just like that, here's our slicer. And if you notice, the spacing's just a little bit off. So I'm going to turn on border so that way I can see kind of what's going on within the context of the button. And I'm going to, uh, you know, kind of fiddle with the way the image is fitting. So in this case, I'm going to go to normal and then I'm going to kind of increase the size here. And if you notice, it's behaving a lot better. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to uh, turn that border back off. Um, and then maybe adjust kind of a few additional size settings, right? So there we go. That's looking pretty good. Uh, not quite happy with it, but I'm going to turn off the header icon so that way those aren't popping up when someone rolls over this. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open up a data model file because, right, all of this was just kind of like functional componentry, right? So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to copy this. I'm going to search for icons, right? There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to bring them on over. So here they are in my Microsoft uh, Power BI file. And this is the same file that I was showing you when the video first started. If I switch this current year on, it shows current year. If I switch the prior year on, it shows prior year. And if I switch both of them on, it shows both current year and prior year. So how is this working? Well, let's take a look at the data model. First things first, since this is a button slicer, you need to remember that when both of these are on, I'm essentially sele uh, showing selected values. So I created a measure that's selected value, and then I'm using a concatenated uh, X, and then I'm getting the values that are selected, and then I'm concatenating them together with a comma, which then allows me to do something pretty straightforward, which is to use a switch statement. So here's the measure that's in that, and I'm saying, switch if selected value is equal to current year, which is what it would be if just current year was turned on, then return current year. If it's equal to prior year, which would be if it just prior year was turned on, then um, return prior year. Otherwise, just return total sales. Otherwise, return blank. So like if it returns blank, it won't show in my line graph. And just like that, you know, and we can take a look at the, the line graph um, and look at the fields that are selected. So here's our measure we have a report that when we click is completely dynamic, no bookmarks. So if you're interested in business intelligence, Power BI, uh, SQL, although I haven't released that many videos on SQL, please consider subscribing, especially if you join this, you know, enjoyed this video. That's what keeps me motivated to, you know, keep making things like this. And if you're interested in learning more about me professionally or what I do for a living, uh, consider giving me a follow on LinkedIn. Sometimes I post cool things. Uh, sometimes I don't. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, and I hope you had a great day.